Welcome to It's Another Level with your host, Pastor Dr. Anthony Clark, right here on the Impact Network. Experience music ministry and independent artists from all around the world on It's Another Level. Listen, get up. Get up. It's your season. It's your season. It's your season. Whatever you need. Come on and stand to your feet in this place as we go to Montgomery and call on Adrian Nation, Adrian and One Nation. Hey man, we'll take that. Listen, this song isn't for everybody. The song is called Surrender. And the reason why it's not for everybody because everybody isn't ready, ready to surrender their total being. Amen. So if you are willing to give up your own self-righteousness for righteousness, come on, worship with us. Amen. remain silent Ooh. cause everything I've ever said has been used against me give up my right to an attorney Ooh. don't appoint one I can speak when need be fact is I'm here to give up all my rights for the man that died for my life I've been running from you Putting up with all of my stuff Lord, I surrender I put my hands up And I turn over my pride to you Lord, I surrender I bow at your feet Please arrest me I want to be free Lord, I surrender No. 
your music ministry would like to be a part of It's Another Level, you can contact us on Facebook, Twitter, our website. The information is below. And now back to It's Another Level with your host, Pastor Dr. Anthony Clark. Hello and welcome again to Another Level. I'm so excited and so happy that you took this time to join us. And no matter where you are viewing in this land and country or even in this world, in the Bahamas, the Virgin Islands, California, East Coast, West Coast, we just thank God for you. And I know some of you are going through some things, and we want you to pray for you. We have prayer partners that are willing to pray for you. And at the bottom of the screen, there will be a number that you can call and someone be right on the other end waiting to pray for you. So we're just excited. We're here in Montgomery, Alabama. Come on, Montgomery. Help me welcome our Impact Network family. And I'm happy to have today with my guest, Apostle Chillis. Y'all come on and clap your hands for her. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, a woman of God, Amen. whom I've known for a long time, even before God called her into the ministry, and God has elevated her. And here in Montgomery, she's doing some wonderful things. And I want to say this before she even talks. A lot of things that you have saw us, share and be able to do she has been a partner with us and i always say can't no one do anything by themselves the kingdom of god has to learn to connect amen so wherever you are the bible said two is better than one so i'm happy and i thank god for her because y'all don't know it. a lot of a lot of things you see with the show there are people that you may not have seen you seen her that has supported that has prayed, and we thank God for So I want y'all to come on, world, welcome with me again, Apostle Chillis. Amen, amen. So, Apostle, tell everybody about yourself, what it is that you do. Tell, them, tell us about the ministry there at EWAD, and you'll tell everybody about all of it. Amen. My name is Pastor uh, Overseer Rosetta Chillis. I am the pastor of the Apostolic Word of Truth Ministry. Amen. We are young ministry, nine years old. Amen. And we just excited, amen, about what God is doing for AWOT. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. He's, he's, he's doing some wonderful things. And um, you are being a uh, lady in ministry. And I always say, you know, I know men have challenges, but exactly. ladies, you know, we pray for you all because y'all have 
if we have it, y'all have it double and triple, quadruple. Yes, yes. And but I've seen you come through some things, go through some things, even just dealing with life challenges. But you have always been able to overcome. And when I look at you, I always tell you all the time, you are in a lot better position than a whole lot of us. And I thank God for you because you are encouraging. You are a sore. Y'all, and they, you know, we have, to, we have to learn to sow. The Bible amen, said amen. we reap what we sow. sow. And it may not come now, but if you keep sowing in good soil, God will bless you. So yes, just tell will. us about some of the things. I'm, I'm in the position that I'm in is because I hold true to God. Yes. I hold true to my dreams and my visions that God has given me. Um, if I would say something to anyone right now, I would say, hold on and don't give up. <laughs> don't give up. Don't quit. No matter how bad it looks, I say all the time, I will bless the Lord at all, all times. Time. Yes. And his, his praises praise. shall continually be yeah. in my mind. We have some challenges challenges in our lives and sometimes you know things are not going the way we think they should go but if we continue to bless the lord no matter how things are going if we continue to bless the lord and hold on to the word hold on i, I preached a message recently uh three words stand believe and continue to speak the word of God. Oh, wow. A amen, amen. Yeah, right. and I, that's a sermon all by itself, yes, you it know, is. word yes, by is. word. But if you don't continue to speak the word of God, and if you don't continue to believe the word of God, you can't stand on the word of God. And you have to realize that you can't do nothing without God. No, we can't. We can't live, we can't move, we can't breathe without God. But if we ask, ask God, allow God to come in and help. Ask God. It's nothing wrong with asking God to, for help. Yes. Yes. Asking God for help. A lot of times we, we feel like we can do it on our own. But God is there to help us. Yes. And he don't want us to do it on our own. To do it by ourselves, God is there to help. Yes. So it's nothing wrong with throwing your hands up and saying, Lord, I give it all to you. Help. Amen. Help. Anybody out there, did you hear what Apostle Chile said? Whatever you're going through, throw your hands up and say, God, I give it. Just do it like this. Whatever it is, when you throw your hands up, take it and let it go. Come, it. come on, wherever you Amen. are right now. Amen. Come Amen. on, you heard her say, take it, throw yes. your hands up. Right now, do it with me. Come on, take it right now, put your hands on it. Now throw it up and let it go in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That, that, you, 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 you're going to be shouting in here yes, in a minute. Yes. But 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 listen, I will tell you this, Apostle, and you 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 your sister, we're friends. I tell you, uh, a lot of times in in our lives we have struggles, right. but we still got to give a word, exactly. encourage somebody. When sometimes you don't feel like, <laughs> you know, but you still Jesus did it at Calvary, right? While he was dying, he still. He said, Lord, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He told the thief, he said, this day thou shalt be remembered in paradise. Even though he was going through and I and I've seen you and I watch you, but you always smile. And you always say, I will bless the Lord. That's it. At all times. <laughs> At all. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. When I get up in the morning, I will bless him. At lunchtime, I will bless, bless him. him. When I go to bed at night, I will bless him. No matter what is going on in your life, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes, I'm sick sometimes. Yes, we are human. We go through our different yes. uh, things. But you have to realize, I will bless the, the Lord. Lord. That's all. what gets you through it. I will bless the, the Lord, Lord at all, all. times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. In my mouth. With the Bible said when praises go up, blessings come down. If we want blessings from the Lord, that no matter what our struggle or strain, no matter what valley experiences we are going through, we still need to praise him. Right, right. And, and, I, and I, again, I, I've seen you go through things and, you know, and but yet you just happy. Because, Look at, because it's the struggles that keep you. If you didn't go through struggles, you'd never know and appreciate your good times. And, and I'm going to say this, and, and I want the world to know this. Your husband mm -hmm. started, y'all started the ministry. Right, in-house. 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 He's gone on, but he always had a love for people, for, for people mm -hmm. and for the church. And I yeah. see you, no matter if, if Bishop Chillis is gone, 
you still carrying out the vision. When a lot of people say, she ought to go home. Mm-hmm. She ought to stop. Heard that. But you ain't stop. When you get a heart for ministry and you realize the ministry and the goal that God has placed upon your life, mm-hmm. um, no matter what anybody says, no matter what anyone does, uh, you have to go on and push. People leave, people go, some come, but they don't always stay. Yes. But you have to hold on to the vision, hold on to the word that was spoken and the word was spoken, thou have dwelled in this place long enough. Yes. And when we moved, yes. When we moved, that's the vision that my husband had yes. that we would move to a bigger place and that we would build a city. Some people are like you, how are you gonna build a city in a city? If you get a ministry and you have all of these different things operating in the ministry, you're building city. That's right. You're you're connecting your kingdom connection and you're building uh, building lives, you're building souls, you know, for, for God and for Christ. Yes. Uh, if you just hold on to the vision, never give up, never quit, no matter what somebody tells you, that's that that's the reason why, you know, I, I say all the time, and y'all gonna hear it a lot, I will bless the Lord at all times. <laughs> because right. when David really was in the in the position that they was taking him in uh in the presence of the king, uh David changed his countenance. And and people look at David changing his countenance. It was for uh, you know they say it was looking kind of crazy. But when you begin to change your countenance for God, yes, and begin to not look at wor- not worry about it, not look at how you look in the in front of people, and just begin to give God your all, because David began to give God his all. Oh yes, he did. That's where that comes from. Yeah. I will bless the Lord at, at all, all time. time. They put him out because they said he looked like a fool. He looked like a <laughs> foolish man. Get him out of I'm in front of me, but but that's the way I want to be. I will bless the Lord at all at all time. People yeah. think I'm crazy. No, I will crazy. bless the Lord at, at all, all times, time. <laughs> and His praises shall continually, continually. be in my mouth. Y'all going to get that before yes. she leaves here. Yes. So no matter what you're going through, you need to be praising God. And, yes. And, yes. And one thing about Bishop before he left here, I think Bishop, if I'm not mistaken, you correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm going to remind Awok, I think Bishop, you said, we're going to move. Are we moving? We moving. We made a song. We moving. Right. Bishop kept saying, yes. we moving. It reminds me of the children of Israel. Mm-hmm. They went through some things, went through some winning, but they were moving. They move to the promise because God gives a promise. He's not going to take it back. Yeah, God gives you a promise and he won't take it back. But you got to hold on and you got to get behind. Even if you don't see it. Yes. If your leader has spoke a word Ooh, to you. Make me shout it, man. If, if your leader has spoke a word to you, you're not going to always see it. Sometimes it's good for you not to see it. You just <laughs> sit down and just say, because I got to the point that I said, I, I, Lord, I don't see the way. Yes. But I know that's what he, he said and that's what he told me, that we were moving. And I was like, Lord, I don't see the way. We don't have a realtor. But when God gives you a word yes. and tell you're going to do something, guess what? He lines everything up and put it yes. in its place. Yes. Wow. You are really encouraging somebody out there because I, I'm going to say when God is giving you something, he's going to give you a way. Right, right. He, he don't call you to nothing that he has not already made the way. We just got to have faith enough. That's it. Sometimes we, that, and you honest, sometimes we don't know. I don't know. But we got to still follow his word. Right. And that's what Bishop told us. He said, you know, he said, I, I asked God, God, how are we going to move? And I just got, I'm in this little small place. And God said, I didn't ask you to uh, see how I was going to provide. All I need you to do is to believe yes, the vision. Yes, yes, believe it. That's all I need you hmm. to do is just believe the vision. Sometimes we're trying to figure out stuff that God has already done spoke. Yes. If he spoke it, it's already done. It's already done. It's already done. Yes. And we can't be, try to try to figure out what God is doing. We just have to believe that God will and that he can. Wow. He will. And listen, some of you out there are challenged right now about things that God has spoken in your life and over your life. And if we want to pray for you, you can call us and numbers on the bottom of the screen. We want to pray that God would give you strength, 
will continue to lead you in the way that he's called you, that he will send all kinds of encouragement your way. Because we as human, we need to be encouraged. But you got to be like David. You got to learn to encourage your own self. Because there are so many people around you that's going through. And before we get through, before I let Apostle get back to her city, <laughs> did you hear what I say? Y'all didn't hear that. Her city. But listen, the city that God has given her, that he's made her have a charge over, she's over that vineyard. Right. I want you to look right straight in that camera, mm -hmm. straight ahead, right there. And I want you to look out there, and I want you to encourage, encourage the millions of people that are watching you right now. Amen. I'm going to say it again. I will bless the Lord at all time, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. And that's what you got to do in whatever situation, whatever you're going through. You got to learn how to grab hold to the word of God. Don't let it go. Begin to sing the song. Even if you have to sing, I will bless the Lord at all time, and his praises shall continually be in his mouth. It be in my mouth. And just continue to just hold on to, to God unchanging his unchanging changing hand God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think so there's no problem too big there's nothing too small that God can't fix and God can't handle so I encourage you throw your hands up and tell God help, help. wow I'm telling you we're about to have some revival in here and I think all of us need help. All of us are going through struggles. And I thank my friend, apostle, pastor, overseer, amen, all those good things that God has called her to. We love you. And you have been a great supporter of what God has given us. And you haven't embraced this. And, I, and we're going to embrace you, your ministry, AWOT, because I keep telling us, if we cannot work together, how can we go to heaven? So as we get ready to leave, I want you all to clap your hands again for apostle. Don't you go nowhere. We will be right back with more. It's another level. God bless you. If you or your music ministry would like to be a part of It's Another Level, you can contact us on Facebook, Twitter, our website. The information is below. And now back to It's Another Level with your host, Pastor Dr. Anthony Clark. Anybody have a testimony? Let me hear you scream. What about you, Isaiah? Can we go to Columbus, Georgia? Get on your feet as we go to Columbus, GA, and bring to another level, brother, the testimony. Can y'all do me one favor? <laughs> I need everybody over here to do me one favor. Can I get y'all to do this for me? Put your hands together. Y'all ain't moving yet. Can I get y'all to do it, baby? Put your hands together. Take it up. 
anybody ever talk to him, man. When I get in trouble, I go down on my knees and have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about my trouble. Tell him all about my trouble. Can I ask you one thing? Won't God make a way for you? Won't God make a way for you? Won't God make a way for you? Y'all tell him one more time. Come on. 